All right, check out our new sponsor, Greenwood Stocks. They want you to know how to be able to trade stocks and be your own boss and be free to travel the world by making passive income. We all need that passive income from stock market. What are you waiting for? Call the text 281-760-3170. If you didn't catch that, that's on your screen. Or check them out at social media, Greenwood Stocks, and catch them at Gmail, Greenwood Stock Trading at Gmail, and the YouTube channel is Greenwood Stocks. Appreciate them for giving me the opportunity. Check them out. We out. All right, Loma Chain, go tell us Devin Haney, stop lying, it's in the contract. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell like, comment button, share the video. And, you know, check out the boxing news playlist for more videos like this. Haney, stop lying, it's in the con real contract. Say Loma Chain, go to the Snow Queen LA. Check out our YouTube channel. Devin, stop lying. Why are you lying to people? Tell Artie Harnison a written contract on paper. Um, I thought they, Team Haney, sent it directly to top rank. So I asked my manager, Ingus Klimov, to find out. So English contacted English contacted Top Rank, and they didn't even receive anything either. I don't understand why David Haney would say that we did not receive any contract offer of paper from Haney. Bill Haney called Ingus and saying that he wanted to make the fight. They asked if you know we were serious about the fight, if we were willing to have a people have a fight. Ingus replied, "Yes, of course we want the fight." That's how it ended. Just that phone call. The phone call was a week ago. Ingus told me. After he spoke to Bill Haney a week ago, he spoke to Tom Lenar Team Linares, and Team Linares confirmed that they had signed a contract and sent it back to Haney. When he, Bill Haney, was on the phone with us, Linares had already signed a contract. That's why I posted the tweet at Real Devin Haney. I'm here. I'm waiting for you, coward, to decide on a real fight and not on the Twitter. In my opinion, he, Bill, only remembered me after he signed the contract with Linares. After the fight with Linares was set, he, Devin Haney, decided to remind everyone that he is not scared of anybody who box anybody at 35. But clearly, we knew he would not uh, be fighting me. He was trying to pull the wool over people's eyes, saying, I'm ready to fight. I really want, I really do want to fight with him because it's the best option for me, said Lomachenko. Um, uh, why would T.O. wouldn't give a rematch? He went to that. Uh, he said, Loma also said he's staying at 35. That's Ryan Garcia fights him. I, I, di I didn't watch the fight, watch the whole fight, but I saw highlights. Of course, I saw the KO said Lomachenko about Oscar Valdez's recent victory over um, victory over WC World Featherweight Champion Mikhail Pachet. I can make 130, yes, but I choose a different route, which for me is to keep boxing at 35. It all depends on Bob Aram if he can make the Valdez fight happen. I would be interested, uh, interesting fight. I would uh, want to see Lomachenko said the potential Pacquiao versus Mikey Garcia, who I've had winning. I don't know age is a big factor for Pacquiao. It's hard to say who will win. I like both fighters, but we'll be looking for a spectacular fight. I'm staying at 35. Loma said Ryan Garcia with Golden Boy in fights on the zone. I doubt Ryan and Golden Boy will fight me right now. And what happened with that said Lomachenko when he t when he told that Ryan Garcia wanted to fight Pacquiao, I just hyped. Uh, it was just hype from Ryan, all hype. You see Javante Davis going back to 35, said Lomachenko when he reminded the Tank is fighting for the WBA regular light title uh, versus uh, Mario Barros next. I think he can move down, move, uh, move down to 135. He was fighting at 130. Leo Santa Cruz fight was at uh, 35. He was at 130. Of course, he can't fight at 35. I never hear from anyone. I never turned down a fight. His business side of boxing that is difficult. 140, no, for sure, no. Said Loma when asked if he'd be moving, willing to move up to 40. Um, he talks about the contract, too, man. Let's talk about that. If we're talking about Devin Haney fight, it's either Bob Aaron can negotiate with Eddie Hearn and make it happen in April 2022. Um, I mean, did that mean 21? Uh, I think it means 21. Well, I'm still, oh, April 22, I'm still with top rank. Or we'll have to wait a year to get out of my contract and then fight Haney, said Lomachenko. I wouldn't know how much we we're talking about because I haven't had an offer. So basically, you're seeing that Haney is telling the truth. He sent the offer online that I've never received it. You're seeing that Devin said I sent him an offer. And I'm not telling you that I haven't received anything. We don't have anything, no contract, no offer numbers. Ingus was on the, on the call, and that's all it was. Them just saying if he wants to fight Loma's going to fight Devin Haney or is it just hype on Twitter? Ingus said very serious about the fight and honestly I think Tyson Fury 
Say said Lomachenko when asked who he has between Fury and Joshua. Um, they pick Fury. You know, so, I mean, I mean, you can read this a couple ways. A couple ways this can be read. This can be read in a situation in which Bob Aram don't want to make the fight and he want to wait a year until he got out of his contract. Or, it just sounds, it just, I don't know, man. Devin been saying he want to fight a lot of people in line. Boxing boy Samson and Harvey Fortuna called him up, so I don't know. It just don't make no sense to fight him. That's my opinion. Um, for Devin, I mean, for Devin Haney. You know, he just came off a loss, let him win. Man, so they said Devin team lying, but I mean, Devin getting a bad reputation. He getting a bad reputation for lying. Really bad rep reputation for lying. You know, so at the end of the day, you can't believe none that his father say. Remember, on that phone call, on that little boxing voice thing with Javier and Sampson and Devin Haney, I think Eddie Hearn came on after that said, hey, Eddie Hearn said something, said basically don't talk to Bill, talk to me. So Bill going around acting like he the promoter, but he's not the promoter. Devin, Eddie Hearn is running that shit over there. He running Devin Haney promotions and he running, um, he running match room. So, you know, Fight Dev, I mean, fight Lomachenko. I just don't get what you get out of it. Would it solidify you? I guess. But you don't get a belt out of it. You know, for Devin Haney, if I make a $3 million fight, or whatever it was, why would I try to take a risk versus Lomachenko? If I'm going to take a risk, it's going to be versus Devin Haney and get all the belts. Or I'm going to move up. It's no point to take a risk down there. I'm getting three million a fight. So if I step up a little bit to TFU Lopez, I'm gonna get five or six million a fight. If I go to one forty and become the breadwinner there, I'm gonna get six, seven million a fight. And I fight Mikey Garcia, like he's been calling him out for years, I'm gonna get ten million a fight. So why would he fight Lomachenko? Lomachenko don't bring a belt, he don't bring fans, he don't bring nothing. So why would he even sit there and say they wanna fight? So I clout. Do anything for clout, it's clout. You know, but the actual fight, if Devin can keep his distance, he can box circles around Lomachenko. He got longer arms. Devin Haney, I don't know. Devin Haney got welterweight, above average welterweight length. You know, tall. He just got to learn how to sit on his punches and kind of operate stationary a little bit. Yeah, he got 71-inch arms. He got what? 7, 8-inch reach advantage on Lomachenko? 60% knockout ratio? Imagine... Imagine he still he's imagine he starts he starts sitting on his shots. Imagine that. You know, it's gonna be a wrap. But fight with Silly Lomachenko for what? When he had to build Bob Aram to let you fight him, that's what he basically saying. Loma. You read between the lines. You read between the lines. And basically, basically he's saying that um. Basically, he's saying that um. That Bob Aram holding up the fight, you know. He said Devin Haney's the real WBC belt. I'm gonna go. The one I got beat, uh, I beat Cam before. They gave me the franchise belt, and the real belt went to Devin Haney automatically. So he got the belt without fighting anybody. So he acknowledged Devin Haney the real champion. That's what he's saying. Yeah, I got, yeah, I got two. I got two cameras over there. Yeah, I got two. I got two. I got two. See, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I got two, I got two, I got two, I got two. <laughs> but I mean, you know, it is what it is. He wants to fight, but I don't think Bob, excuse me. I don't think Bob willing to make the fight. I don't. He mad because Loma, because Devin Haney didn't sign. He told Devin Haney you have to hook in Ramirez. You would never get that fight. Because you signed with the wrong promotional company. But then again, but then again, he want to say, he want to tell you guys, the Errol Spence needs to come make a fight with Terrence Crawford. Why? When you're not letting Devin Haney fight Lomachenko or Tiafima Lopez because he didn't sign with you. So, if I'm Al Heyman, Terrence Crawford got to sign with me to get that fight happening. Bob Arum still operating like that. That's all it is. Bob Arum a snake. Never said he wasn't, but... But yeah, it's, it's, hypocr it's hypocrisy. You want Errol Spence to come make a fight with y'all, but you don't want to get Devin Haney a fight. We know how... I know why Al operating the way he operating, you know. But if Errol put his hands down and said he wants to fight, fight going to happen. 
But hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, or video quest. All my social media links description. Fast way to reach me is Twitter, then Facebook, then Instagram. Facebook group link in the description. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good313. That's description. PayPal link there as well. Too. Don't forget to check out the Facebook group. All my social media links in the description. Appreciate the love support. And let me know what you guys think about Lomachenko and Devin thing. Devin been him and his father been capping so much. There's just so many stories of them just lying. But if I ain't fighting nobody for three million dollars, why would I even take a risk in a lightweight versus a guy who came off a loss? Let me know what you guys think. One time for one time we gone.